readers rave Yes they do About things to see And stuff to do What to, what eat. to eat And where to go It really is revealing What the readers know So they make their choices And they vote them in To MassLive.com And the Republican Where they publish all the winners And we all find out The kind of things That readers like to rave about and I'm the executive director of the Amelia Park Ice Arena and Garden. Do you get annoyed this time of year with people saying, have a nice Christmas carol? Uh, actually, uh, it happens all the time. Does anyone ever fall through the ice here? Not through, maybe on. Do kids play hockey here? Yes. Do kids play hooky here? Uh, yes. Do you do uh, private events? We do do private events. Actually, we have one scheduled this afternoon. Can I ask you more about private events or are they too private? <laughs> do you use a Zamboni? I have driven the Zamboni, yes. Do you know what year the Zamboni was invented? I'll give you a hint. Okay. It was the same year South Pacific premiered on Broadway. 19... I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. 48? Wow, 1949. That's good. I knew it was That's close. great. All right, well, thanks for talking to us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And congratulations, everybody. Holly Smith Beauvais, and I'm the president of the Springfield Museums. We're currently installing an exhibit on Rainforest Adventure. It's a highly interactive exhibit for children and their families to come and learn about the rainforest. Do you ever get so overloaded with things being educational and cultural that you just want to curl up with a mad magazine? <laughs> I do, actually, People Magazine. Where can we find the Reader Raves exhibit? The Reader Raves exhibit. Well, we gotta work on that. All right, don't let them pile up. Do any of the exhibits come alive at night? <laughs> that's that's a question. We do have one museum that uh, we do hear from our guards is haunted. Our gift shop is just an amazing gift shop. I actually went there for all of my Christmas presents and, and, and people loved them. Wow, it's a good thing you don't work at CVS. I know. <laughs> Can I ask you a Dr. Seuss question? I hope I know the answer. Do you secretly believe that the Sneetches with star bellies were superior? <laughs> no. What would you like to say to the people who voted for you? Thank you. We really appreciate it, and we are here to do a great job every day. This is our second year that we win uh, first place, so it's uh, it's nice to know there's people out there that you know look, look and uh, they think we do a good job. So who's Nick? Nick is my partner right there. I see. That's Nick. Hey, Nick. Hi. Is, is Nick your real name or is it a nickname, Nick? No, it's a real name. Do you charge bald men less money? No, no way. Do customers still ask for a shave? Uh, not really, no. Maybe customers are afraid to uh, be shaven by somebody named Nick. All right, there we go. You said it. I've been afraid of barbers ever since I saw Sweeney Todd. Have you seen that? Sweeney Todd? No, huh? Do you miss the old days when you got to pull teeth? <laughs> I looked that old. Well, we thank you very much. I hope we can do that again next year. And uh, keep up the good work. Do you book a lot of private functions? We really do anything that requires a space and some quality staff and some great food. It's great that you're so open about talking about your private functions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what kind of pancake syrup do you use at the log cabin? Oh my God, I gotta go and ask my chef partner for that one. Just, uh, I'm gonna honestly think it's Anjumina, to be honest. Oh boy, I thought it would be log cabin. <laughs> do you realize that we're videotaping in the same room where people are watching the very video that we're making? Yeah. Do you have any message for the people of the future? Do people ever dance the chicken dance here? 
know what? They still do a lot. Does that bother you? The Macarena is gone. It used to be really hot 17 years ago, and you, you don't see anybody doing the Macarena. It's about a quality staff that is committed to making it right. So if you pick a facility, I think it's quality people that you want to deal with, people that are committed to doing it right. I'm Michael Quinlan, and I'm the Corporate Wine Sales Manager for Table & Vine. How familiar are you with your uh, products? You know, we, we are knowledgeable about them. Everybody wants to do research. Everybody that works here is interested in, in what's, uh, what's going on, what's for sale, and what's delicious. What's the difference between doing research and drinking on the job? Nothing. Today's actually my 30th day without a drink. Really? Not in a row, but still, <laughs> I think that's impressive. <laughs> The advantage here is the size. We have great pricing based on our on our ability to purchase, uh, and we also have great knowledgeable staff that that really care about what we sell and have an interest in it for our own our own uh, use and our own pleasure. I think it's time for a wine tasting right now. Absolutely, let's get the corkscrew out. Do you ever get annoyed by people coming in asking for empty boxes? Uh, there's always a few boxes to spare. Can I have some empty boxes? Of course, as many as you need. We enjoy what we do. Uh, we enjoy that you shop here and we're glad to be recognized for our efforts. Thank you very much. Being chosen the best charity was a testament to the community's commitment and enthusiasm for Rays of Hope and all that it does to provide funds in support of people impacted by breast cancer in Western Mass. With all that pink, do people ever confuse you for a Mary Kay rep? Hasn't happened yet. This is serious business, raising funds for breast cancer for men and women who are impacted by breast cancer and for their families. So sometimes we have our props that just bring some laughter to the office on a sunny day. We're out there with our sunglasses or sometimes we just can be playful and put on our little fascinators so that we can promote this um, rays of hope throughout the health system. Hey, what would you like to say to the people who voted for you? Thank you so much. Thank you for recognizing rays of hope and this event and all that it does and all the people who are so committed and for everybody's support of rays of hope. My name is Rudy Scherf. I'm the manager of the Student Prince Restaurant in downtown Springfield. The wait staff works really hard. They tend to be underappreciated, and it was nice to see them get some recognition. Which is older, you or the restaurant? The restaurant's got me beat by 13 years. Have you ever thought of opening a ladies' bar and calling it the Fortress? That hasn't been at the top of my priorities <laughs> list. Now, what do you charge for a $50 gift certificate? Right now we have a special, it's two for a hundred. Do you know any German at all? I took one year of German in high school and uh, that didn't end up so well, so I know Mach Schnell, Dummkopf, and a few other words that are not suitable for uh, work. On behalf of my staff, thank you, and we appreciate the honor, and we hope that we can earn this honor again and keep working at it. My name is Joe Frigo and I'm the owner of Frigo Foods. We uh, put a lot of effort into our work on a daily basis and to get rewarded for this, it's, uh, it's great. Uh, I'm third generation working for my family and uh, we've been in business about 65 years now. What's your secret? Well, you know, um, we never let our guard down. Uh, we've been here 65 years. We come in, it's like, a, it's like our first day of work. Was that really a secret? Oh, a secret? Well, um, a secret to making it happen every day. Yeah, do you have any actual secrets? No. No, okay. <laughs> Before we go, can we have any free food? Yes, absolutely. What would you tell someone who's looking for a good deli to go to? Well, I'd like to have them stop at my store, of course. You and, to think uh, about that. And then, well, no, I mean, uh, 
I really want to say thank you. It's quite an honor, and uh, we don't take anything for granted here. We, we, we appreciate the award, and hopefully, um, you know, we'll continue to, you know, keep all our customers happy in the future. We're a full-service florist that's been in business since 1948. We care about what we do, you know, it's, it's a, a type of business where it's a pure service business. Did you ever goof up and uh, send Get Well flowers to a funeral? Um, no, I don't think we've ever made uh, that mistake. When people call in orders and tell you to write really personal things on the card, does it make you feel a little bit creepy? Uh, we've, we've had some creepy ones before. Now, why can't you send flowers to Washington? Because he's dead. <laughs> so if a dozen flowers mean that I love you, what does two dozen mean? I love you a lot. Uh, what would you like to say to the people who, uh, who voted for you? Oh, we appreciate the vote and uh, the vote of confidence and uh, we'll be here for you. And uh, uh, DeRochaFlorist.com is all you need to know. make people beautiful. We make them feel wonderful. Do you do makeovers for brides? We do. Isn't that just a way of tricking the groom? No. Do men come here at all? Yes. Really? And why would you say really like that? I would think it would get awkward in the locker room. The last time I got a massage, you know where the lady touched me? Right in the shopping mall. My name is Nikki Kane, and I'm an esthetician, um, nail technician, and I'm a makeup artist. Now, makeup artist, that yeah. doesn't mean werewolves and monsters. <laughs> no, it does not. What really goes on here? <laughs> uh, my name is Steven Santos, and I am a massage therapist here at Buffers Day Spa and Salon. Are there some people you'd rather not touch? Um, that question even made me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> This color is OPI and is called In My Santa Suit. That is so me. Yeah? Yeah. It goes very well with your skin tone. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. I would like to say thank you very much. We were surprised and um, we're very proud. I'm Manny from Manny's TV and Appliance. Your slogan says, we have to do better, we live here. If that's true, why don't I see any sleeping bags or beds? Uh, do you have any appliances that talk? Yes, they do. Do other people hear them talking or just you? <laughs> this is something new for me. This is pottery from Greece, from the island of Crete. Is this a, is this a Grecian urn? Yeah, that's a Grecian urn. What's an old Grecian urn? Uh, About 10 bucks an hour. <laughs> And now you're being funny too. Olive oil from my family trees down in Greece for the oven, it's unbelievable. You know, the store here has been here for 35, 36 years now. If you do the right things with service, with delivery, with uh, salesmen, they've been here for as much as 30, 35 years, okay? Uh, I don't have to worry about it as much as I, I used to. Thank you for talking to me. Can, can you close with your slogan? Yes, we have to do better. We live here but you don't sleep here. No, we do not sleep here. Jeff Shafrida, the president of the rather long title, Affiliated Chambers of Commerce of Greater Springfield. Do you ever spell your last name incorrectly? I learned it by about the fifth grade, so I'm okay with it now. What was your reaction when you found out you'd been chosen the best Chamber of Commerce? Uh, we were really thrilled, and I say we because it's a, it's a team here. How do you network exactly? Any tips on, on networking? I'm not the best networker in the world. Just going out there and touching as many people as you can. Do you ever go to an event and get stuck talking to a real boring guy? Um, I do. Usually they're not our members, though. Those are the non-members. We don't want to rest on our laurels. We, we want to continue to, to bring value to our members. So thanks, and don't let it end here.
Keith Roy. Um, I own Keith G. Roy Construction. We uh, we're a residential remodeling company. This is your second time winning the uh, the award. Yes, we won last year as well. Are you getting sick of it? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you do much constructing yourself these days, or do you mostly supervise? Um, for me, I'm just mostly supervising now. So if you had to swing a hammer, could you still do it? Yeah, but it would hurt. Really? <laughs> Construction projects in your own house, do you have time for those? Um, I say yes, my wife says absolutely not. Can we talk to her then? You might need to. Now, you're in construction, yet how often do you actually use construction paper? <laughs> Rarely. <laughs> Well, I want to say thank you. Uh, I really appreciate it. It's uh, been two years in a row, and uh, we like being here. At Dakin's Adoption Centers, we find homes for nearly 4,000 homeless cats, dogs, birds, ferrets, rabbits, guinea pigs. Okay, now where are we standing now? This is the cat house. We also have our community spay neuter clinic, which provides low cost or free spay or neuter surgery for cats and dogs. Now, do you fix anything besides animals, brakes, mufflers, computers, anything like that? Nothing. Do you microchip uh, animals? Every animal that we place into a new home has a microchip. How about employees? Do you microchip them? We do not microchip our employees. Yeah, we got a new dog actually. He, uh, he likes to dig. Yesterday he dug up our old dog. He dug up last night. And uh, what would you tell someone who's thinking of maybe adopting a pet? Please do. Please adopt a pet. Come on down. I am surrounded by some of the coolest animals you will ever hope to meet. It is the best place to come. At Sarah Ford, I, I do a little bit of everything, uh, sales manager, payroll, stuff like that. Ashtrays get full, you're, yeah, oh yeah. you're right everything. there. Yeah. Were you disappointed that you didn't win the tidiest office award? <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I know I was definitely not in the running for that one. Are there good deals on used cars these days? Well, there's, a, there's amazing deals. There's always a good deal. All right, enough of your high pressure tactics. <laughs> right. Now, did you ever have friends who uh, ask you to take them to the auction to find them a special deal in a car? Oh yeah, all the time. Is that annoying? Yes. I just want to thank everybody that voted for us. Would you take me to the auction? We have a great inventory and we must be making a lot of people pretty happy. If you're looking to buy a car, you have to come to Sarah Ford. I teach Latin, religion, and a class called Theory of Knowledge. My favorite thing about teaching is, is sharing the wonderful things that exist in the world with the students. This is a Catholic high school, correct? That's correct, yeah. Does that intimidate any of the Jewish students? Uh, you know, uh, we don't have any Jewish students at this point. Uh, uh, we do have some Muslim students. Really? Yes, we do, yeah, and, and they're wonderful. Can I ask you a Bible question? Absolutely. Why can't I find the little drummer boy in the Bible? <laughs> if you want your child to have a wonderful, nurturing place to grow both intellectually and spiritually, Cathedral High School is the place to go. We have 10 seconds left. Can you explain the Holy Trinity? Okay. So, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit are fully God. And yet, the Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Father, and the Holy Spirit is not either of them. It's a great mystery. My name is Guy McFarlane. I work for Big White Foods. I am the Vice President of Fresh Food. Do you have a favorite produce? Bananas. Really? Hence, that's why I'm standing right here, next to those beautiful bananas. Hmm. I don't see it. All right. <laughs> when a shopping cart has a bad wheel, do you fix it or shoot it? Uh, we give it to Stop and Shop. <laughs> <laughs> do you do that thing in the bakery where if a kid asks for a cookie, you give him a cookie? Especially for the ones that are crying for their moms, we want to try to take care of the mothers and give the baby a cookie. 
Can I have a cookie? No. Okay. <laughs> what would you like to say to the people who voted for you? We will continue to evolve with your expectations and try to deliver world-class service and world-class products every day. I have an idea for a slogan for you. What's that? Big Y, a great place to stop and shop. I don't like that at all. Okay. All right, we'll scratch that. <laughs> So they make their choices and they vote them in to MassLive.com and the Republican Where they publish all the winners and we all find out The kind of things that readers like to rave about Ooh, wow, wow.